Hello all. So in this series, currently we are talking about some new features which are announced in 2024 release wave one. And today we'll be talking about one another exciting and very important for our customer feature, which is Excel layouts, which Microsoft have built as a separate extension for 35 reports, selected reports. Now, what this is, is it just downloading my data from this to an Excel? Not exactly. You can do a lot with Excel layouts. And there is surely a need of this feature because there's a lot of education needed how you can utilize to build better reports for your customers. So you'll understand how what Microsoft have done for this, uh, how these reports can be accessed, why I'm saying that different than just downloading to Excel, which is a very old technology in NAV and also available in BC. So let's get into it. Reports have already been some problems in NAV and Business Central based on what customer wants. Uh, Excel is a well-known used software for reporting and analyzing data. So Microsoft in the previous versions announced Excel layout. We have some videos in the report playlist where we explain it out how you can build those and things. But based on my limited knowledge, I was not able to do what Microsoft have done so that it can then train you and me and people like us or even customers to see the power of Excel layout by just having this feature in Business Central 24. Now in Business Central 20, as I said, they did introduce the Excel layout and to see it simply, what you can do is, and at the same time, there was a new page announced called Report Layouts. Now when you go into the Report Layouts, you see all the reports uh, layouts which are coming from Microsoft, from your extension, or from an ISV extension. And there are all type of layouts available. So you can simply put a filter here. Uh, okay, let's do a type filter and we can filter it for Excel. Once we do it for Excel, we see some of the report. It is not 35 right now and we'll talk about it. But this moment, Anything that is part of this new enhancement is tagged as preview because as per Microsoft documentation, there will be some more enhancement to these reports in the cumulative updates as we go forward. So at this time, we see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight reports, and we'll see how to use them, why I'm saying they're different from a normal report. And it seems they have focused on customer top 10, vendor top 10 and then some accounting reports which are important. Okay, so that's how you can see it. Now, let's see how you search it. Okay, so there are, uh, let's first get into the development side of it. And let's understand why I'm saying that there is a separate extension for it. So when you go into extension management, I'm going to send 24, You'll notice that there is a separate extension available for, and I'm looking for it. Give me some time. Hmm. And there's a lot of extensions now. So it kind of takes a little bit of time to find them. But I should be able to. Okay, email. Uh, okay, error handling. Uh, okay. Payroll practice. Okay, and I don't see that. That's weird. And maybe you are looking at it and saying, oh, you can't find that. That's odd. But here it is. Okay. So this is called Dynamics BC Excel Report Extension. So what we'll do is I already have a connected VS Code. I'll just take a dependency on this extension uh, to see what is available inside this extension. So I'll do the ID, uh, then I'll do the name, uh, then I'll do the publisher, and then I'll do the version. Okay. Okay. So publisher is of course Microsoft. Uh, name of the extension is uh, Dynamics BC Excel Reports. And you don't have to do it. We're just trying to analyze what is inside this extension. 
how Microsoft is kind of building these reports and why they are separated out. So these should be technically saying there should be a bunch of reports in, in this extension, hopefully. So once I do download symbol, I kind of goes to my server environment and then start pulling up the symbols for it. So which is already done, you can see it here. All right. Oh, there are tables. There are no pages, but let's go all to see everything. Okay. Interestingly, there are some buffer tables which are used to build these reports. And then there are at this moment, as we said, three, four, five, six, seven, eight reports. And then to increase the performance of these report, they are trying to fetch the data using queries. That's a nice enhancement because then the data will load faster from a tenant to these reports. They also have some code units. Okay, I would be interested to see what's in there. Okay, this might be a separate video if needed to go deep into it. That's what we are not discussing here at this moment. And then there are page extension. Oh, so there are role center pages, page extension where they have added these actions, hopefully, to access these reports. Okay, so if I look at it on the accountant role center, you will be able to see all these eight reports and in the same way in other role center pages and so on and so forth. There's a separate permission set for it, which is nice. And it is also permission to run these is also seems to be added into existing permissions like ISV, basic ISV and full access and premium. So, okay, I was completely wrong. I thought it's just a bunch of reports in this extension, but if there are tables and which will be of type temporary, hopefully, yes, then that makes sense because then they are not just adding the layouts into the report, existing report, they're actually building new reports for better performance and hopefully these buffer tables are used to kind of temporarily store the data before it kind of goes into Excel. Okay, that's from a uh, design perspective. So now let's check it as and I have said a lot of things about it and I've made big commitments about it. So as you can see here, I'm on the accountant role center I can see this Excel report option. If you don't see it in the role center page that you are in, you can just search for preview because all these reports at this moment are tagged under preview. Under report analysis, you will see all those eight report. Now, they run like any other report, okay? So I can just choose, let's say, trial balance, okay? And see what kind of trial balance I get. Now, if you notice, there is no option of preview because the default layout that is selected for this report is an Excel layout. And there's a separate video which talks about how you can add more into it here. But that's not for this video. So for Excel layout, you can't preview them. You will have to download them. So once I download it, start executing, collecting the data, and then put it into an Excel file. So now let's see what comes up when I open a trial balance report from Business Central 24 with Excel layouts. Hopefully I did click that. Oh, it came to my other screen. Let me just let it open and I'll drag it there. Okay. So here it is. This seems a little bit off, but because there are security things, so I need to enable it. Once I enable all the content, it is not like a NAB or an RDLC report. It's a full-fledged report where Microsoft is utilizing the power of pivot tables, uh, providing you options to filter data so you can actually filter things here, remove filters if needed. And then you can also see by utilizing the power of Excel, they are able to kind of group them or consolidate them here, which is nice. Uh, and it is not just one page. So you can actually go to see what the data that is building this report. And then there are dimensions, uh, dimensions and caption class, which all these are tabs are at this moment seems to kind of hold the data based on which this report has been built in. 
So hopefully this makes sense. Let's see how other reports look like before we move further into why we see only eight reports at this moment. So let's try to run. Let's see hmm. which one should we see? Okay, we did trial balance by period and let's see trial balance again. Okay, what happens on the trial balance? Let's download this and we get the new Excel file at this point. Okay, let's try to open this and see what happens. Okay, it's again coming into my other screen. Let me drag this in again here. So now this looks more or less similar. Let's see. Okay, so once I enable the content of this Excel file, which are just the security check-ins for the file being downloaded from a browser, it'll refresh and the first page looks similar. But the reason why I ran this particular report is you can actually see the other tab where it is on additional reporting currency. Now think about it as an Excel user. If a business central developer can build a report which can generate all this data, one, two, three, four tabs, then surely there is some Excel logic that has been applied to build all this. Okay, so when you start collapsing it, you will start seeing um, the pivot table options that Microsoft has used to design these. So now think about the power that you have once you have the data downloaded by a developer by just building a report and adding the fields that you need. Any developer can provide you this data and then based on your knowledge of Excel and utilizing uh, the, the layouts that Microsoft have given and let's quickly check the customer top 10 list and let's keep 10 and download this. You will be able to make these useful analysis report so that you can then run through them. And you don't have to copy the data into Excel to do your analysis and all. And this applies to every uh, report that you need. Any table data that you need, you can just ask your developer to build that and provide you that data into an Excel file. And then you apply your magic and then that Excel file can be attached to your source control on your extension, which then you can utilize to run your reports, to do your analysis. Now, I would thank Microsoft to kind of give this direction because I'm pretty sure uh, people saw it, some people compared it to export to Excel, but as I'm saying now, and I have said it in past, this is not export to Excel. This is a completely new feature, which lets, which allows your developer to build a data set, which can then be downloaded into Excel. The designing part, if you want to leave it to yourself, you can do that. And then the same analysis that you have done on that data in that Excel file can be uploaded in your extension and then the report will be saved for future versions or future users. Now, remember, you can have multiple layouts for the same data set if needed. And then while running the report, you can choose which layout you want to run. Okay, now let's talk about eight reports versus 35 selected reports. So as per Microsoft, Microsoft is shipping eight reports with the journal availability or the GA version of Business Central 24.0. But uh, these eight reports are available right now. These reports can be found as we can see in other places. There will be more reports added going forward into the same extension. So don't worry, there are more and more reports coming into this area. At this point, it says 35 selected report. Hopefully we'll see more report. Okay. Just remember that what you need to ask your developer or your partner is to have a report object built in inside Business Central and what fields from which table and what relation you want. And once that data is downloaded to Excel, you can be the Excel expert there and build that layout and then ship it back to your or send it back to your developer who can then bake it in into your extension and get it uploaded or even you can upload it right 
you don't have to but it's good if you upload it otherwise you can always go into this page called report layout okay you need to know the report number and you can just add new but the only thing that i'll not suggest it by doing this way because then it's data it's not code if you ship that or send that excel layout that you have built in back to your partner or developer they can actually make it part of the code and the information will not be a data which which will happen this way it'll be a code segment so anytime you deploy your extension or update your extension the report will come with the code into it so that was all on this particular feature i surely would like listen into comment section how do you think you can utilize this do we need to talk more about it to bring more education into the community that guys start using it it is not something that is built for partners if you ask me literally it is something who is built for our customers who love excel to analyze data on and we as partners and developers can help them by generating this data set if they need some help and i'll leave all excel designing at least i'll leave because i don't know to all the experts who know excel so you know the drill if you like the content hit the like button if you think there is a lot of education that's needed on this topic do share this on social media let's utilize the power of social media to spread the message that this feature is available and if you like the content in this uh, channel do hit the subscribe button if you haven't i'll see you sooner than later on the next video in the series and uh, till then have a good day